Well, we've been offered another job. It's in the Championship. I mean, the Scottish Championship, but still. Hello and welcome back to Sunday League, the Champions League. I'm Millers, this is Indoor FM. Apologies if I sound a bit throaty and snotty. I've got that thing that everybody else has got. So, uh, yeah, you can blame the boy for that. Um, so, as I alluded to, we were offered a job. I've turned it down. I've turned it down. Um, it was at Wraith Rovers. So, Wraith Rovers, bottom of the Cinch Championship in Scotland. So, one, one league below the, the Scottish Premier League. So... I mean, it, it means we're going up in terms of our stock value, right? But I've turned it down because in real life, I simply wouldn't move up to Wraith for a job where we're rock bottom of the championship to come and take on a club that's got insecure finances um, and have never been out of the championship. You know, it's, it's, it's not what we're aiming for, right? We're aiming for a job that's going to be our next stepping stone. Now, it could be, I suppose, but the reality is I didn't feel like it was the right time to do it. Um, and I've turned it down, but it's a it's a good it's a good thing, right? It's a good thing. We were offered a job at a club where you know they're paying some serious money for players, eighteen hundred quid a week, thirteen hundred quid a week. So, you know, it's a it's a decent step up in terms of in terms of standard. It's just not what I would do in real life. So it isn't what I'm going to do in this save, but it bodes well. Right, it bodes well because uh, let me see if I can try and find out. Yeah, so these are these are a, a two and a half star reputation team, right? And we were a one and a half star coach last time I checked. Yeah, one and a half star. So it bodes well for what we're doing. It bodes well for our reputation in the game, um, and therefore let's hope we can kick on. Speaking of kicking on, um, we are now sat twelfth. In the uh, Vanarama National, we've got one more game to go. Uh, we will be playing. No, 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 completely forgotten who we're playing. Completely forgotten who we're playing. We're going to be playing Altrincham. I knew that Altrincham away. Um, and the best we can do is finish tenth. Uh, the worst we can do is finish thirteenth. Fine. Not a not a not a problem. Altrincham have got a lot to play for, so it's going to be a difficult game. But we're going to go in with you know no real qualms in terms of where we finish. We've done our job. Is is the ultimate message? It's been difficult. It's been bumpy, um, but that's just the way of the world. I think you know we lost the first game straight after you guys left us. Then we won a couple of draws, a couple of wins, a loss and a draw. We've really struggled with what we talked about last time, which is that fitness element um, and the lack of depth. Um, and that's what we'll talk about towards the end of this video. Um, it strikes me that I'm supposed to do the please do all the liking and subscribing thing up front. I don't know why, but I'm supposed to do that now. So I'm doing that now. If you don't mind, that'd be great. It'd really help me out, um, you know, just to try and grow a little bit of a base from which to try and grow these videos because I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully you are too. Um, and it'd be nice to, uh, to have you along with me on the journey. All right. So I'll, there you go. I've said it now rather than at the end. Nice. Which, uh, yeah, still. Okay, fine. So, we're going to play this game against Altrincham. Um, we'll do that together. Um, and then I will come back with a bit of an end-of-season overview um, and show you what my thoughts are for how we're going to kick on into next season. Um, again, based on the fact that I'm aiming to be at Curzon still. You know, we're earning reasonable money. Uh, they've done well for us. We're going to ask for another badge. If they give us that, then why wouldn't we stay for a little bit longer? Um, we've managed to get Josh, as you can see there, to pen another year's worth of a deal, which is great. Um, and then I'll talk to you about who I'm going to build the team around next season. Right. Altrincham, then. You're probably going to see just what I've been faced with in terms of fitness for the look of this. All of the boys, all of the boys need a break. And I, and I, and I get it because I've, I've absolutely played the... Backsides off him. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Um, but 
you go below that, we're not good enough. Got a few lads in on trial, by the way, um, released by Premier League clubs. They're not quite at it, um, but we'll get a report after about four weeks and see whether they uh, they can add anything to the team. So we're going to go out with, with what we've started with, um, unless I can get Young in. Where's my boy, Young? Oh, he's in. He's already in. Talking absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And Hunter is on the bench, hopefully. So we will get him on. No, I probably need those two, don't I? So what we'll do, we'll take Crawford off the bench and put Hunter on the bench. And that way we can swap out Young if, if we need to as well. So, okay, we'll go into the game. Um, a lot of the lads aren't fit. It's the last game of the season. They're going to get a nice a nice chunky break after this one. Um, Andy Carroll is the manager of Altrincham. I don't know if it's the Andy Carroll. I don't know if there's a way for me to check. Um, whilst I'm... Here we go, let's check. It is. The Andy Carroll is managing Altrincham. So, he's a big lad, isn't he? He's a big lad. Hopefully we can have a beer after the game and he can tell me exactly how that's happened to him because, you know, by rights he should be a lot higher up the pyramid if he uh, he wanted to get into coaching. So, OK, go and give the fans something to cheer about. It's the last game of the season. Uh, let's make sure everybody's happy. Don't leave anything on the field. There we go. Right, let's see what we can do. Uh, da -da 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 -da. OK, good. Right, so yeah, I'm I'm relatively happy with how we've managed to pan this out. To be honest, you know, to finish up a mid table is something I'll take. Um, again, keeping in mind what the board wanted, Wayne was all about us just avoiding relegation. Um, as Altrincham net, that's not great. Um, yeah, all about us avoiding relegation. He's offside. He's offside. I mean, I knew that. Nope. Uh, yeah, Wayne just wanted to, us to avoid relegation. Um, we were forecast to finish 19th, I think, from memory by the uh, the good old media. Um, and we're currently sat in a place where we look like we're going to do a little bit more than that. So that that's great. Uh, and we're going to just try and kick on and try and add some depth next season, dependent on what Wayne can do with his wallet. And if he can try and get... Uh, a better level of income for us. Can we get up for that? Oh dear, Gregory, what have you done there, son? What have you done there? You can't spill that like that. That's shockingly bad. Shockingly bad. Lumped forward. I mean, I say lumped. It was a lovely through ball. Um, and then he's just made an absolute mess of it. And Josh doesn't miss an open goal. So that will do me. 1-0 up. 1-0 um, up. But Aldringham have got everything to do and they need the points in order to try and attempt to stay up. So I'm assuming they're going to come out and play. Um, you would hope so anyway, wouldn't you? Maybe Andy's going to throw himself on. I wouldn't blame him. I wouldn't blame him. Get him on there, mix it up with our two centre halves. I reckon he could still do a job. Randall Young back to Patson Powell. And then we, again, we start, we're starting to work the ball through Horan. That deep line playmaker for that. Look at that, look at that. Oh, if it had slipped, uh, he could have slipped John through there. But we'll take it. We'll take it. We've had the lion's share of possession, lion's share of XG. We're doing exactly what we would expect to do against a team that are not quite uh, cutting it at this level where we are, you know, um, with our first team. Again, it's worth saying, with our first team. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. This is where it starts, you see, because uh, the lads are knackered. And they're taking knocks left, right, and centre. Um, and they just, yeah, they're just absolutely knackered. Absolutely knackered. So they've got to send subs on before half time, which isn't ideal. But, um, you know, we don't want anybody getting hurt. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So uh, let's have a point of a finger and avoid complacency. Get the game won ideally. And then we can go into the off season knowing that we've. Uh, We've probably done everything we could do with the resources at hand. As Altrincham have got an opportunity, clipped in, nodded out, but Apta drops it. Fapper two with a beast of a shot, but it fires wide. Altrincham on the struggle bus here, it looks like. They need nothing less than... I mean, is he not going to go there, ref? You've played on, but I hope you're going to pull that back. 
Still recycling play, which is good to see. Horan looks to spread it, nods it forward. Oh, okay. Noah's got back on the ball. Go back if you want. There we go. War back to, De to Devon. Devon's had a good few games in the team. Um, and, surprisingly, he's been notching. So I don't think that corners have necessarily been destroyed in the uh, in the patch. I think it's more that the centre halves we've got are not the biggest lads um, and therefore aren't winning as many of the balls that Posher and, uh, and Matthews were winning. You've given a penalty there. You've given a penalty for a foul on the lad who's been on a booking and has just fouled our lad further down the road there and you've played on and not pulled it back. Absolute abomination, referee. You've had a shocker. You've had a shocker. If I'm on that pitch, I'm going mad at the fourth official there. Absolutely incensed. Nonsense. Nonsense decision. I know it doesn't matter, but it matters. Just get it right. Oh, be Daddy, chill. Just get it right. And look at me there. I'm stood there furious. Absolutely furious in my technical area. We deserve to take this game now. I don't care about altering them anymore. Absolutely shocking decision that from the referee. Looks like he's possibly going to pan out as a, a little dead rubber. Altering them have had a better share of the second half, which isn't what you want to see really. Chalmers has gone for goal and Gregory, he looks like he's padded that over. Got no confidence in their keeper. Pats and Powell going to box it from a corner. Can Matthews do what I just said he was doing? In the build-up. It's taking some time. I don't blame him. Whipped one in back stick. Looking for Ward by the looks of things. And it was flicked away. Uh, we've got a throw in in their half. But are we going to see that? We are. Is there going to be some build-up play from this? Challenger back to okay, Young inside the box. Have a go, son. Unlucky. Unlucky. Fapper 2 with a free kick for Altringham. He's gone for goal. Gray's at the top of the netting. Not something we're going to worry about. Avery's clipped long. Not really about it. As has Patson Powell. I don't really understand why we do that sometimes. Um, it isn't our game. As they now got on the attack. And Theo with a very ropey little attempt at a block there. It spun off him. It could have gone anywhere. Ben Ward nods away. But only as far as Corber. Stott. Can we force them backwards? No, but they've had a shot from distance and it's a it's a nothing shot. That's fine. So we'll take a draw. I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. I think uh, in the uh, in the press conference at the end of the game, I would be going mad. I would be absolutely incensed. Um, I'll take that. Playing, you know, badly. Yeah. I mean, this is what we talk about with referees. you just got to get it right. Just be consistent. So we finish 11th. 11th isn't too bad at all, is it? It isn't too bad at all. It's eight points, so eight places above where we said we would, or where the media said we would finish. We have managed to avoid the relegation. We've kept ourselves up at this level, and that's absolutely ace. Um, you know, Curzon deserve it. They've backed me in terms of two weeks out. Okay, that's okay. They've backed me in terms of giving me a job, uh, and hopefully, I think us keeping them at this level for a season or two is a, enough of a repayment, really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rattle through while you're not here and get to a point where we've got the end of the season gubbins. And I'll also show you my thoughts in terms of who we're going to build the team around when I go into pre-season. Okay, catch you shortly. Okay, welcome back then. So this is the end of season review of the 25-26 season. So you join me uh, just as we start to look at the new arrivals and who did what. So um, busy in the transfer market because we had to be. Um, we had no choice. They really like Noah Kwame, which is great. You know, he, he, he wanted more game time, um, you know, and I gave him it. I gave it him in the end because the pace and everything else he offered when he came in, he had a great attitude, all that stuff. Uh, him and Randall Young have been superb, as has Ben. Um, my mate Fenton, he's uh, he's done fantastically well um, and a great signing, as, as was Terrell. Um, Theo was a great keeper for us. Did, did did bits and Billy played left back. So you know all of these things, all of these uh, these 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 signings that the, the fans are talking about. Yeah, they're all they're all good. Um, Ollie was good. Um, preferred playing him at centre half, if I'm honest, um, rather than in that central midfield role. He did he did bits at centre half for me. 
Um, not entirely sure when his contract runs out from Derby. It's now. Maybe we will attempt, attempt to sign him. Um, we'll see if he becomes available. Because he would add quality for us, that's for sure. Um, yeah, more unpredictable. Absolutely impressive spell of form early in the season. Got us up to fifth. Um, and we slid as low as 18th because it was a real a real up and down season and it, and it was decent attendance um, only 29% of the ground was filled though but Josh has done absolute bits for us the board love me fantastic really well done can I have a coaching course absolutely not okay brilliant absolutely brilliant um, biggest win 7-0 against Dorkin you were here for that I think you enjoyed that one right and then we also uh, had a nice match to remember against Bromley. Goal of the season was Aggie Mang's goal. Um, an excellent team move. Superb, superb against Doncaster. Not all that long ago. Not all that long ago. Um, success helped the Foot Club's finances. Yeah, you'd hope so. Look at that, by the way. Wayne's managed to increase our sponsorship deal by all of two grand. Um, it's worth saying as well, by the way, the budget he's given me for next season is uh, 11 grand a week, which is 200 quid more than he was giving me last season. So, great. Um, no surprises there. That's our shape. Yeah, that makes absolute sense. Um, we got manager of the, my, National League Manager of the Year North. Okay, that was last season. What are you showing me that for? Um yeah, fans player of the season, young player of the season, signing of the season, goal of the season, top goal scorer, Josh with 32, doing absolute bits. Um, highest average rating, Josh. Best pass completion rate, Ellis, that's that's interesting, isn't it? Um, yeah, absolutely, that's really good. Worst discipline, Rio, no problem there. Youngest player, we managed to give Jacob a game. Um he, we had no choice. We had no centre halves, so he, he he went into the into the team, and we managed to get a five grand in for Narrow. So you know everyone's winning. Started better than anyone have expected, and rarely slipped up thereafter. Thanks, Joe. Much appreciated, pal. Uh, yeah, and it was you're right, Darren. Early doors, we set our stall out. We managed to get ourselves uh, in a in a decent place. Um, yeah, Curzon Ashton grabbing an improbable draw. Three three. Yeah, that yeah we were three 0 down in that game, and then we came back three three. Um, Josh Allen's now our all-time leading goal scorer as well, by the way, with uh, with this season's contribution, which is great to see. So everyone's reasonably happy with me. The managerial support's strong. If we just look at the dynamics um, in the team, who likes me? The vast majority of people like me. Marcus is balanced. I'll be honest with you, Marcus. I don't particularly... Oh, Mason. See, I don't even know your name. Um <laughs> I don't even know your name. Um, I don't particularly like you uh, in terms of what you've contributed, so I'm not concerned that you don't like me. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, Josh has been inducted into the into the, the, the best 11 so far. I would totally agree with that. Totally agree with that. Ellis has made his way in. Fantastic. Um, reasonable bonuses paid out to the lads uh, and very much well-deserved. They've done a great job. They've kept us at this level, which is more than everybody expected. Um, will there be any deals in the coming weeks? You'd imagine so, as it's pre-season, wouldn't you, Joe? But I won't be discussing transfers with you today, pal. Um, we have made a couple of offers, offers for lads we've had on trial. So I suppose now would be a good time to go through a little bit of my view um, in terms of what I think we're going to be working with next season. If we have a quick look in here then. So all day... This is going to be um, Terrell, absolutely no no doubt whatsoever. This is going to be John, uh, no doubt whatsoever um, in my mind. That's going to be Ranel, that's going to be Rio, and I've managed to get these lads signed up until the end of next season. That's going to be Josh in there for me, and that will be Ben. And then from there, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. Our keeper was on loan, so he's going to go back. Um, and in reality, we've got this boy in on trial. He's of the same level, arguably, so we'll have a look at him and we'll see if, if, if he can stick around. Cameron's probably going to run out of a contract this season. He'll probably go. Um, in terms of our left-back, we don't really have one that I want to really push. Billy was superb for us, um, but again, he's on loan from Derby. 
um, and I don't see him sticking around for sure. Let's just have a look, see if his his contract runs out, so we could have a go. We could have a go, but I'm going to remove him for the time being. Uh, remove Garth. There we go. Thank you. Um, Ellis will probably play there for me um, in the t for the time being as a deep line playmaker. He's done really well. You saw his pass completion rate. If I can find somebody that adds quality, you know, then I will do. Um, and we don't have a left winger. You know, we just don't have one. I've attempted to sign a couple of the lads on loan. Not on loan, on trial, sorry. Um, which we'll have a look at shortly. But really, we've got a gap there. We've got a gap at centre-half. A gap at left-back. Gap in goal. Arguably a gap is a holding playmaker. And then we need some depth. Right. Um, that's my views on it. That's my views. Um, let's have a look in terms of those boys uh, that I've got contract offers in for. So this guy's a walking red card, but I'm signing mainly because of his hair. So, yeah, it should be good. Um, but he used to be at City, right? So he's, he's, he's got a bit quality, hasn't he? And if all else fails, we'll bring him in. Uh, someone's clearly got a taxi. Uh, if all else fails, then we will uh, we'll, we'll hopefully try and sell him. We've got Neil, who's going to be back up for Rano on the right wing. Loads of pace. Uh, again, X City. So a little bit of quality. And then we've put a contract in offering for Paul as, again, a little bit of depth to back up um, John and Aggie Bank, really. But they're all breakthrough prospects, so it's, it's not going to cost me a boatload of money to, to sign those lads. Um, and they come in with some good, some good, uh, some good calibre. I offered one more, but the, the, he wanted he had an agent for a start at seventeen, and uh, and wanted crazy money. So we're not doing that. Um, but all in all, look, I think you know we've got a, we've got a solid um, a solid base upon which to build, right? We we know our spine there or thereabouts, missing a, a keeper and a centre half, um, and I've just got some work to do in in the summer. Um, but I've got that work to do with absolutely no money, so that's going to be interesting. Um, have we got any lads leaving us that will potentially free up some money? Yes, we do. So these boys are going. So Ben's going to go. Uh, Hui's going to go. Ashley's going to go. That's 750 quid a week. That's good. Cam's going to go. Um, they're all on loan. And yeah, Callum might go. Uh, I'll try and sell him uh, in the window. Try and get him out. Try and offload that 525 quid. And then further down, we've got the likes of Joel um, and Matty who are here. That's another 700, 800 quid that I could try and offload um, in the window, which I will do. I mean, they're already they're already listed, as you can see. I'm, I'm trying to do that as it is. So we can try and bolster that, but it's going to be a challenge again. It's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be a fun one, right? And we're going to attempt to kick on. Uh, and, and the board, again, just want us to fight against rele relegation, which is fine. Our aim, as we know, is to kick on now, so we're going to do another season here, um, unless something crazy happens in the summer. Um, for, obviously, I'll come back for that if it does, um, but all being well, the next time you see me, we'll have concluded a transfer window. We will have had a good view in terms of what our squad looks like for the upcoming season, and we'll see what the media think. Thank you very, very much for joining us. It's been a load of fun. Do feel free to like, subscribe, all that jazz. I know I did it before, but it's just in my habit to do it now um, and i will catch you all in the next one you should get an upload over the weekend um, of those transfer stories um, and then we'll come back in the new week for the new season take care